So, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing something different. If you guys didn't know, I'm quite a big fan of plants. Well, you wouldn't have guessed, would you? What would, what would, have, what would have given it away? Not the plant haul video I did, not the Instagram I have dedicated to my plants and Trevor. I decided that, first of all, I would indulge myself in the smack drop. Like, can we... feeling like such a proud mother right now, I'm like <laughs> So today I thought I would actually talk a little bit more in depth about why I think our generation, so millennials and Gen Z, are like obsessed with houseplants. I am fine. This is acceptable levels of like houseplant having, but if you guys have watched any like plant tube, it's a thing. And then you're like, Instagrams that have plants. Also, I still have Hector down there, but Hector's big, so I've got no one to put him. It's a rubber tree. I name all of my plants. Oh, we'll get into that. Um, so I just thought I would explain my theory on why I think our generations are like obsessed with house plants. Plant obsession is not a new thing, so let's not be like, oh, it's such a like gym millennial dizzy. People have always been obsessed with plants. If you're like into plants, you are into plants. Like, I don't think there's very much half arsery about this like you know like if you love like you love hard and there isn't gonna be like any there's just no time for being half arsed about this that's all i can say so here we are i have quite a few plants i have what like 50 i'm not gonna bother counting them i have a few i've had a couple of them for a very long time mainly sebastian and melody i've had them for a while and they mean a lot to me i have a few points on why i think we're obsessed so let me just cycle my way through them. There is a video all by the New York Times on Summer Oaks or Homestead Brooklyn or she made one on her channel. I know Harley G has done one but I have not watched that one so you guys know. I will link both of those down below because I think you guys will probably find it really interesting. I think one of the things that I love most about plants and which a lot of, I think a lot of people will agree is like the therapeutic side of it. So when you are spending so much time trying to keep these alive <laughs> because you know you're caring for another living thing which in itself is very fulfilling you're spending time with your plants and i just like to just you know look at them and just be like you doing you doing okay you need water you need anything else like you know how you doing can I get you drink anything like that it is so nice and so calming and just so zen i'm just gonna say zen to look after your plants like if i have a morning where i've got my like, water meter i'm just gonna go around and be like who needs water? Who needs anything? And like taking things from their pots to the sink and all that kind of stuff. Okay, first of all, it's just the definition of pottering around. It is so calming and therapeutic. Like it is not a chore to have to water my plants. I actually, I find it more of a joy. You spend that time then and you don't think about yourself. One thing I've noticed is like our generation especially, mainly, is so phone obsessed so social media obsessed me 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 what about my brand how do i look to others what am i projecting out into the world all that kind of stuff i am one of the worst people for this i don't know maybe because i've spent so much time doing it that i treat it as business rather than something personal it means that you spend that time caring for something that doesn't have anything to do with you it's just so nice to have something to care for that is you know first of all affordable like, if you kill the plant, like, it's not the end of the world. It's, I mean, it sucks, but it's not, again, it's not the end of the world. But it's just very, very, like, calming to just have your mind somewhere else. But also, you know, you're not thinking about any, like, big ideas or the future or whatever. You're just thinking about the plant. What does the plant need? How do I not kill this? Like, it's so just, the physical aspect of it of just, like, looking after something and quite literally getting your hands dirty like getting you know <laughs> soil under a manicure is really really frustrating but like it's fun it's just so nice not to think about myself because <laughs> think about it like part of my job is emma and it's just very weird i'm like i just want something that is not me which is also if you guys didn't know one of the reasons why i'm slightly obsessed with trevor because i'm just like <laughs> well first of all cute but it's just so fun to look after her i feel like i'm one of those like nurture people like i just if you're hungry i will feed you i'm one of those so i think it really applies to like my plants as well i'm just like you need anything you okay you doing good okay one of the things that like you know you're not on your phone and you're not on a screen i mean you guys are very guilty of this right now but you know what i mean it's just nice to just <laughs> use your eyeballs properly for something that is not reading or watching something it's a very active activity there we go you're not being like passively like scrolling through your phone you're like okay 
actually use your brain. It's just a great little bit of time to just like switch off from everything else that is going on in the world because obviously right now it's not fucking great and I'm terrified of you know the earth and everything that's happening and political climate is really really fun. So yes I would like to just retreat into this very like small world of just me and what other plants need and I don't want to look outside of it sometimes. Just like just want to know what the plants need. <laughs> that's all. So I guess in a way because you're not thinking about yourself plants are a kind of self-care because you actually invest your caring into something else but like Plants love you back. If you don't have a lot of plants, you probably like that makes no sense. But trust me, like people who have plants will know, like if you love them, they will love you back. And it is literally one of the most fulfilling things. I'm already looking at pictures from when like I bought my Aglaonema, for example, Ajax. Like this plant has grown so much. It's like insane. Fucking look at Sebastian. Do you see where Sebastian grew from? Sebastian used to be in Melody's pot. Like that is a level of satisfaction that is just insane. And then also my monstera, look, look, it's growing a new leaf. Look, it's growing another one. And this now is lopsided and all over here for some, God damn, it, it, it doesn't move, I can't pin this back up. But this plant has already grown so much, yeah, it's gonna get so much bigger now until my mother. Watching these plants grow and every time there's something new is like, insanely fulfilling oh wow I'm not only keeping it alive it is flourishing and that's just nice to be like okay I may not be able to take care of myself properly um spaghetti hoops are not a meal uh, but it's quite nice to be like oh I can I can keep things alive that's nice and you know it sticks a lot it's just insanely fulfilling because you know that it needs you and it depends on you and then just also when you have had things go wrong and then when you manage to fix it it's insanely great nice easy plant so plants can get sunburned was it like leaf scald sun scald something like that i did that to this poor goddamn plant felt really bad and i had to like chop a lot of its like thingies off i felt so bad i was like sorry and then it had mealybugs at one point but i had to isolate it chop loads of its bits chop loads of its bits off chop loads of it off and stuff which was really hard to do but like she is recovering this is britney because every part of his easy plant samayococcus samapha Violet. All of it's toxic. That was just so satisfying being like, you had a problem that I caused and I fixed it. And I have another plant, it was the one who brought the mealybugs in. It completely died, it was a succulent, so I took a few of the leaves and they're actually starting, I'll insert something here, they're starting to like, they grew roots and they're starting to grow little bits now. So I've like, I managed to save part of the plant and it's becoming its whole new plant. Like that is A, fucking fascinating and B, so, great and it makes me so happy and I'm just really really excited about it it's like oh my god yes it's great <laughs> it's alive we love Mary Shelley in this house so in just that sense it's just so nice to like grow something which I think for people like my age as well and like millennials gen z let's be real none of us can afford a house so we can't exactly have a garden and none of us can afford kids and a lot of people don't want kids so it's kind of like well Indoor plants are like the natural next step then, aren't they? So, here we are. My mother asked me about grandchildren. I'm just gonna be like, please refer to all of my fifth, sixth, from 10 children. They have names. Melody, Sebastian, Minnie, Penny, Ajax, Andy, Brittany, Audrey, Hector. <laughs> and also when things go wrong, it's just really nice to like try and figure out how you're supposed to look after things. It's just, I just really enjoy it. So I think most of us can agree, but like, there's the whole plant thing and the plant community is just wholesome as frick. It is wholesome as frickin' heck. So many of like the plant tubers I watch are just, they're just such sweethearts. What more words can I use? Like also Jen Marble's plant collection is something that's really, really enjoyable. And that opened Pandora's box for me in terms of like plant content. <laughs> Every time I watch any kind of plant video, whether it's like a care video or like, ooh, here's a tour video, I just find it very, very like, I get to check out of my life in such a way and just like enjoy. I just, I just don't have to think about anything else. I can just enjoy it and like no questions asked. Ah, oh, this is very, very, very relaxing. But on the internet, there is so much very intense content online and like that is why I try and make very chilled out content. I think you guys know, but like there's just so much of it is really stressful and really like, views and like we're gonna make sens like as sensational as possible because people need to watch it and like oh brand deal oh so. just calm down <laughs> welcome to our calm corner <laughs> it's okay you don't need to be that intense to get people's attention because they're probably all 10 anyway 
So it's really nice when I like, you know, I am scrolling through Instagram. People that I kind of know but don't really like that much. Influencers, whatever, like, see a nice plant video. Oh, it's just a nice, oh, what a beautiful monstera leaf. Sometimes it's just nice to see. And it's like, ah, oh, green. <laughs> not obsessed with plants. Don't know what you're talking about. Also, I do actually, I am very excited. Does anybody know? I don't think my leaf has any fenster. When my when is Emma gonna get fenestration? When is Emma gonna get fenestrations on Minnie? Can somebody tell me? Please, this is two separate plants together. This is mini major and this is mini minor. The same way that I have Sebastian major and Sebastian minor. None of you asked to know that, but now you do, so. And of course, on the topic of plant Instagrams and wholesome TM content. My plant Instagram is at Londonfish. Another thing obviously is that they're aesthetic as heck. This is an entirely white apartment so it's just so nice to just have green. 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 I feel like in a lot of like design aspects I wouldn't do green unless it was a plant. I think we all just like to look at them. <laughs> I think on the sharing side though it is lovely to watch people talk about their plants and I find it great and it's just really really fun. But then I have people in my personal life who get as excited as I do and that is just like so freaking fun if you are invested like like i said you're invested when people share your enthusiasm and like your love and passion for something there is nothing more emotionally fulfilling than just somebody who gets really excited that even sarah's got a new leaf that's nice i like that people like, can share that with me and the other thing is like when propagating things being like what's well, really easy to propagate and how do you do i managed to freaking propagate part of my snake plot that was amazing i'll show you guys i'm actually so quite disgustingly proud of it because it was not easy and it tested my patience. Oh boy, did it test my patience, but I did it and I'm really, really proud. And like, these are my string of what's it's like, that's what it is now. Thought it was a string of pearls. Now it's a string of bananas. Maybe it's a string of tears, but they are super duper easy to like propagate. You literally chop a bit off and put it in water and like within a week, hey presto, she's got roots. Cause then you can share it and you can like be like, haha, take that capitalism. I don't have to buy it, I can just grow it myself. And the other thing I was actually thinking about was like, you know when you're a kid, there is always that like one obsession toy craze that everybody had and everybody had to have it like, with us it was like Salvanians, like groovy girls and stuff, like how you had to have every single one. I think this is similar. We all know that plants are very collectible, but I think that's the thing. You can have a list and tick off said list and you can have like the types you like and then you can have more of the types that you like. So I think it's tapping in that like, it must be some kind of primal obsession that everyone has to like collect things. Maybe that's just my type of personality and I resonate with those kinds of people, but it's, I, I love collecting things. Basically, you have a nice catalog of all of the plots that you can have, especially because of how like the Latin names work, that you can have like one of each type which is like, which is obviously you can't have every single plant ever, but you could and that's the point. Like for example, even, I have a rubber tree, I've got one, but there are variegated ones. So I want the variegated ones. And I really want the variegated ones with the red on it. Is one enough? No, I want all three. There's quite a few philodendrons that I really, really want. So I'm kind of like, oh, <laughs> waiting for January to buy more. Oh, and then like any garden center, any garden center, you just walk in and I'm like, ah, calm. immediately calm. And it's been really fun to be like, oh, I know what that is, I know what that is, I know what that is, I know what that is. It is just all round an incredibly fulfilling experience to look after plants, apart from when they die, but. That is what learning curves are for, right? Right. I think that's the thing at the end of the day is like, I think pretty much every aspect of having plants is massively fulfilling for me and for a lot of people clearly. But I think if you are on the outside, it's hard to understand until you get inside and then you're like, oh damn, you're not, yeah, you're not leaving. It's like a secret club that if you get the password for, the, the door locks behind you, but you're not getting out again. Like, this has happened now. It's gonna keep happening. The only thing that happened over the summer was like, obviously I had to leave my plants for a few months. My brother looked after them really well. It only killed two. One of them was a polka dot plant and they're very like fickle anyway. It's been incredibly dramatic. You know, you forget to water it a day and it goes <laughs> That died and then like a tiny, tiny other plant. It was a pilea actually that I'd got from a friend, so. <laughs> Killed it. You're gonna have to go back on my knees game. Please can I have one more? I won't kill it this time. But again, it's the sharing aspect. It's something just so wholesome. It's just the whole, I think we all honestly at this point, having grown up with social media and stuff, I've, oh, I've had a phone since I was like, what, 11 or 12? It's just nice to disconnect. And then when you are reconnected, it's nice to watch and just consume plant content because it still gives you the same kind of just like, chilled out mode. Yeah, this is why I like plants. Also, it was just so cool. We're just so cool. We're just so cool. They're just so cool. What? 
I remember because I did A-level biology and everyone always got so upset when we had to do the plant stuff because they were always like, this is so boring. And I was like, this is, this is freaking fascinating. But yeah, that's me talking about plants. And I'm in such a good mood all of a sudden because I've been speaking about plants for like almost 20 minutes. It just brings me pure, wholesome, unadulterated joy. And it's always nice to have something like that in your life, especially nowadays. But yeah. That's it. Let me know why you guys think you're obsessed. What is it about plants like for you that like just gets you? Tell me, I really wanna know. But yeah, like, subscribe, not much jazz. And I will see you guys very, very soon.